The request to have Gupta brothers Atul and Rajesh extradited was denied in February, though South African authorities were only notified last Thursday, 6 April 2023, according to the Justice and Correctional Services Ministry. But why? And what does this mean? Before we get there, let's backtrack a little bit on how we got here. The Gupta brothers are the faces of the family who are allegedly at the heart of state capture in South Africa. This is thanks to the Judiciary Inquiry Report into Corruption led by Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. The Gupta business empire was repeatedly accused of securing deals with South Africa's giant state-owned companies on wildly favourable terms during Jacob Zuma's term as the head of state. While pressure mounted for action to be taken as testimonies were gathered at the Zondo Commission over a four-year period between 2018 and 2022, the Guptas had already relocated to Dubai. South African authorities then began the work to return the brothers to the country where they are wanted on charges, including fraud and money laundering, allegedly linked to state capture. Here's a quick timeline. In June 2021, the investigative directorate's Hermian Cronier announced that the National Prosecuting Authority, the NPA, would approach the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, to issue red notices for the Gupta brothers and their wives. Eight months later, in February 2022, Interpol issued the red notices for the Fugitive Brothers. Four months thereafter, Atul and Rajesh were arrested by police in Dubai in June. In July, South Africa delivered a formal extradition request from the United Arab Emirates UAE, for the brothers to have their day in court. October 2022, South Africa's Central Authority met with UAE Central Authority to request the Emiratis to keep South Africa in the loop regarding their extradition requests after follow-ups went unanswered. This is according to Justice Minister Ronald Amola. In January 2023, the first high-profile state capture trial, the Nulani Investments money laundering case involving at least three Gupta associates, kicks off at the Free State High Court with the Gupta brothers still out of the hands of the South African jurisdiction. A month later, while the trial is still ongoing, the Gupta extradition hearing concluded in the UAE without SA's knowledge, according to Lamola. On 6 April, South Africa finds out and is shocked and dismayed after the Ministry of Justice and Correctional Services receives note for Bale that the extradition request was unsuccessful. So now what? First of all, they cannot appeal in the UAE because somehow, even after a year, they haven't understood that the extraditing, the, the country that's requesting an extradition, is not a party in the hearing um, that is granted to the person supposed to be extradited. That uh, that court process takes place between the UAE prosecuting authority and the accused. It's the same thing actually here in South Africa, it's nothing new. So um, this idea of, of appealing in the UAE is not going to, to work. Uh, plus the matter in the UAE is moot <coughs> because the two accused uh, are no longer in the UAE. They they may be in Switzerland. Some media, some newspapers say they are in Switzerland. And in that case, uh, South Africa could issue new fresh warrants of arrest, request a fresh red notice from Interpol, which will cause the two persons to be uh, detained whenever they produce an identity document. Whether they are nationals of one or the other country plays no makes no difference. Uh, the, the difficulty seems to be that the NPA is unable to, to obtain arrest warrants for these two people because the one warrant had to be withdrawn and the other one apparently was never issued. And that means that, uh, that the magistrate here in South Africa is not satisfied that there's actually a, a case against these two.